Guys, we've just bought ourselves another portable fridge, even though we've already got three angles. This is an Adventure Ridge 75 litre dual zone fridge freezer from Audi. <laughs> and yeah, I know, Audi again. But the uh, $599 price tag was a bit hard to resist. And it isn't going to be used for camping, well at least not yet. This one's going to be an overflow fridge for the house, uh, for the times we run out of space in our main fridges. Now, uh, as is well known, females of the species never seem to have enough room in fridges, and they're always overflowing with all sorts of stuff for making yummy recipes. The trouble is, when I'm looking for space to chill a couple of beers, there's rarely any room to put them in. Now, I know I don't have much hope of this new fridge helping out much, because it'll soon be filled up with uh, whatever food the certain females acquire and uh, a jam in there until it's tightly packed to the lid but uh, we can live in hope don't we we've had a lot of different fridges over the years and i'll provide a bit of a commentary on each one uh, after i've had a quick look at this one i guess angle's always been our number one choice simply because uh, from our experience at least they've been the most reliable but anyway, I'll get back to that a bit later. Firstly, this Aldi fridge has only been with us about a week. So uh, I'm not going to be able to say too much about it other than just first impressions. Initial impressions, I guess, are all pretty good. The fridge is huge. It's a lot bigger than our 60 litre angle. And uh, some people would struggle to find room for it if you're going to take it away in the 4x4 but it does seem to be at least well designed. The outer and inner casings are metal. Uh, the lid is really nice and thick. The lids can't easily be removed like an angle one can. Uh, they would have to be unscrewed. But uh, they do have a little wire attachment that stops them flopping backwards when they're opened and I like that, that's a good idea. Each compartment has a light and uh, there's three baskets in all. The two compartments are controlled separately. So you can run it as a fridge freezer, or totally as a fridge, or totally as a freezer. The compressor on this one's a C-Corp, apparently. The control panel on it is digital, and uh, that's the same with most fridges these days. And it's pretty easy enough to use. Uh, the Adventure Ridge comes with a 24-month warranty, so uh, not as good as some, but better than most. And if you've had a look around at different fridges, this one really appears to be pretty identical to the Kick-Ass 75 litre. Uh, and that one, I think, is about $1,000, but it does include a cover. But still, you're playing about $400 for the cover, I guess. Now I'll have a little bit of a chat about some of the fridges we've had over the years and my impressions of them. The oldest fridge we've got is an Engel MT60. We bought that on May the 4th, 2005, which makes it over 18 years old now. It cost us $1,599 at the time, which was a really big hit in the hip pocket back then. But the fact that it's lasted so long really does make it good value. We did buy a two zone to stick on top of it and that turned the 60 litres into 100 litres and this has really worked quite well over the years. We used the bottom 60 as a freezer and the top 40 as a fridge. We did have one problem with it once around about Christmas time I think it was where the compressor was running but the fridge just wasn't getting cold and I looked around on the internet and uh, tried to find some sort of solution for this and I found a suggestion that you turn the fridge upside down overnight and then flip it back the next day and turn it on. <laughs> I had absolutely no faith that this was going to work, but uh, to my great surprise, it did. And uh, the angle, that was quite a few years ago now, and the angle's been working perfectly ever since. So there may have been just some sort of a blockage in the cooling system. 
We've had several caravans and motorhomes over the years, so that means we've had quite a few different types of fridges. The most common in caravans is the old three-way fridges. Now, they call them three-way because they'll run on 220 volt, on 12 volt, and on uh, gas. They are really designed to be a gas fridge because they work best on that. On 220 volt, they'll work okay. Uh, 12 volt is only designed to be used when the motor of the car is running, and you've got 12 volts being provided by that because they really do chew up the 12 volt power. You can't run them on batteries successfully at all. Now, the big problem with those fridges when they first came out was you couldn't take them up north and get them to work properly in the heat and the humidity. They hated it but they came up with what they call a tropical design, and that seems to have overcome the problems. So the modern gas fridges are quite good, and you'll still find a lot of caravans are equipped with them, and you'll see two big gas bottles on the front. But, yeah, it chews up the gas pretty quickly, and that's an ongoing expense. And uh, apart from that, I guess we've had a number of different 12-volt fridges. Uh, we have had one angle that we absolutely hated it was a piece of junk the of course it did have the original reliable angle motor in it that was fine I had no problems with the motor but the cabinet itself and it was an upright was an absolute piece of crap uh, we'd be traveling along we'd open up the caravan and we'd find the door had fallen off and the contents of the fridge were all over the floor Eventually, I did some uh, engineering of my own and uh, solved that problem. What Angle had done, the pins that held the door simply weren't long enough and the damn thing would jump off them. It was a noisy fridge as well, and uh, we had to put a lot of padding around it. I got a lot of thin sheets of foam, and uh, well, polystyrene actually, and we jammed those in around it, but it was always a bloody noisy fridge. So it's, it's one angle that I definitely wouldn't recommend is their upright range. They don't seem to have got their act together when it comes to that. But uh, the chest freezer style are brilliant. I can't fault those at all. Uh, the angles, of course, run the Sawafuji motors. I think they all come with that motor, and it's very, very reliable. Now, the so-called 12-volt fridges often run on 220 volt or can run on 24 volt as well so we've had a range of different 12 volt fridges the worst brand i've ever had is called vitrifrigo uh, we've had a couple of them and you're lucky to make it outside warranty with those uh, i would not touch those things with a badge pole we've more recently uh, had a waco upright fridge in the coaster now, that was installed before we bought it, and the coaster was converted in about 2009, and it just died this year, so that's about 14 years. I guess that's pretty reasonable uh, for a portable, you know, sort of mobile home fridge. Uh, we've replaced it with a very similar model, although I note the brand name has now changed from Waco to Dometic, and there have been one or two internal changes. Uh, it's gone from an analog um, dial to a digital control panel, um, but not much else has changed. Oh, one thing that has changed, they've now added 220 volts, so you can run it on AC or DC power. It'll be quite interesting to see how this Adventure Ridge fares over time. Uh, initially, at least, it's going to be running full-time in the house. So uh, that'll give it a good test of the motor. It does, as I say, have a two-year warranty on it. So uh, we will report back to you uh, if there is anything new to say about it. Hopefully, it will just sit there and do what it's supposed to do for quite a long time to come.